what is up y'all how are you guys doing today right now we are outside of walmart we're going to be testing a theory out here ever since i started fishing for stock trout i've noticed that power bait is like the go-to bait for a lot of people i mean even in a lot of my fishing videos you guys see me use power bait now if you don't know what power bait is pretty much it's like a little dough bait and you mold it around your hook first couple times i saw power bait and kind of used it a little bit i was like yo this is really similar to play-doh that kind of got things turning a little bit i was like yo these little power bait jars are like this big they're like four or five dollars could i just buy like one dollar or two dollar little thing of play-doh you know and still be able to catch some stock trout so today we are going to be testing this out i'm about to go into walmart i don't know if walmart actually has play-doh but i figured if i could find a magic eight ball in that video i mean i would think that they'd have play-doh so yeah the wind is uh whipping a little bit here today you and me are going to go in here to walmart we're going to pick up some supplies and we're going to drive north to hit up some trout streams and see if this stuff actually works Whew. all right let's get in there not play-doh not play-doh so i've only been to this walmart about once or twice before i did not know that they had such a giant toy section Yo, imagine if i did hulk hands fishing challenge can you imagine that just at the creek bah, bah. the sequel to that thanos hand fifty dollars for the freaking hand man is this serious bro is it just me or like kids toys getting weirder and weirder it says poke my belly uh <laughs> dude literally like no joke there's like freaking 20 aisles of like kids toys and stuff See, this is the kind of crap i have to go through when i make these fishing challenge videos dude that is low-key kind of terrifying bro what in the heck this whole baby section kind of freaks me out a little bit finally guys three years later dude these are literally 50 freaking cents for a little imagine if this catches fish this is i think even bigger than the containers of power bait imagine all right so i think we're gonna go ahead uh snag two of these up here uh this what is this? This is why it's not always fun to be colorblind. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, this one and then this yellow one. I think this is like a chartreuse-ish color. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. Pretty much, I mean, why wouldn't this work? It contains wheat. Non-toxic, so I mean, that's definitely a good thing. Pretty much, that's all it says. It contains wheat. I don't see anything else here saying what's in it. So I'm wondering, is, is this literally just wheat? So we got two of these. This is gonna be $1. Let's head over to the fishing section and let's see how much like a little thing of power bait costs. I don't know if they actually have that in Walmart or not, but let's see like, you know. All right, so they don't actually have any like the power bait stuff. I guess that's like seasonal. But trust me, man. That crap is freaking expensive. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. Ooh, all right, y'all. So we got the goods. Hopefully this wind doesn't, you know, mess up the fishing too much. But now we gotta drive a little bit northern back to where I used to live. We're gonna hit up the trout streams and hopefully we can find some fish. All right, I guess I should tell you guys this before I start fishing, but this creek right here, we're gonna kind of be like creek hopping like different spots of the same creek. But uh, yeah, this has not been stocked since I think October and right now it is February. I'm gonna fish specific places in this creek where I think like fish might get swept down and you know, they might be holding there. I don't know, dude, we're just kind of winging it here today. I'll show you guys my setup so we can get down there. It is freaking cold here today. This wind is not to be messed with. Let me start talking. Hopefully we're out of the wind a little bit down there. Finally here at the first fishing spot, I'm gonna be kind of sticking towards the dams and you know, the deeper parts of the water. It has been raining a lot, so this water is moving kind of fast, but hopefully if there are any fish upstream that pushed them more downstream. So in my car to go along with this uh, yellow Play-Doh, I actually found some yellow power bait. This is the stuff I was talking about. This stuff is pretty expensive. So yeah, pretty much the goal is to put this Play-Doh on. Hopefully we catch a fish on that. Maybe the power bait will have to help save the day. I don't know. I don't know if there's gonna be any fish in here or not, to be honest. First thing is first, before we do anything, you gotta open this up here. All right, I have not touched this stuff in like, I don't even know how long. I feel like even as a kid, I didn't really play with Play-Doh that much. Huh. Well, this is uh, it's gonna be what we're working with here. Pretty much just gonna take a little bit off like that, put it around the hook, just like I would with power bait. Oh, wow. That is like, I remember that smell so vividly. It smells good, it passes the first test. And all right, so that sinks directly to the bottom. That is complete opposite of really what we want. I mean, power bait floats. So since this Play-Doh doesn't float, it's not gonna really be, you know, in the strike zone. It's just gonna kind of sit on the bottom. Here is like the weight on the bottom. I don't have a chop shot weight, but it's pretty much gonna be like a drop shot slash dropper hoop. It's not completely on the bottom. It has some freedom with the line to move around. Now this is gonna be the second way we're rigging this here. Pretty much just some drop shots down to a hook. This is like my normal, like standard power bait setup. Usually when you fish power bait, it's floating. Hopefully this current kind of moves the bait around. I think this should hold the bottom. So hopefully it's kind of moving a little bit. Get some of that out right there. Let's see here. I'm really hoping that this stuff is gonna, you know, stay on the hook pretty decent. I would think it would. I mean, yeah, there we go. Now, if I didn't know, man, I would think that's power bait right there, dude. That looks exactly like it. So this is on a little drop shot. I'm just gonna cast this out to probably like right around 
air-ish. Hopefully that holds. Put that in our little rod holder right there. All right, Play-Doh rod number two. Dude, this stuff, oh my gosh. I'm not even joking, guys. If I catch a fish on this, I'm literally gonna freak out. So we're doing the old weight and bait method right here. We're just gonna hang out. Hopefully these rod tips start to move. But with me here, I've got my new ice fishing rod. I got this off Amazon. I think it was, I don't know, it was pretty cheap. But I was supposed to film my ice fishing video like this video you're watching now. So I went to the Poconos, did some ice fishing. You know, it, it, it's just, yeah. I sort of hinted at that in my last video. I was like, yo, look at this sled, look at this bucket. But yeah, I, I just, I'm not good at ice fishing. So I figured today while I'm out trout fishing, I'm gonna throw this rod around as well. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know, hopefully there'll be some kind of fish around here that'll hit that. Now this video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. I was gonna do like a whole MTB slam on the ice kind of sort of thing. Here's a picture of the box that I got in February. I didn't bring all the baits out here with me. That box is freaking loaded with some awesome stuff. I've been getting the ice fishing box for like the past three months and I've got some really nice stuff. Including this little tungsten jig I got on here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. If you guys are not familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, basically they're a company they send you a new mystery box every month loaded with new lures, new gear for the species you select. Now they have bass boxes, saltwater boxes, but as I said, I've been getting the ice fishing boxes the past couple months. I freaking love it. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, I'd highly recommend it, man. It's so freaking cool. If you use this code right here, I'm gonna leave the code and the link down in the description. That code will get you $10 off your first mystery tackle box. So basically, I mean like you're getting it for pretty much free. I would definitely recommend looking into that if you guys have never tried it before. But yeah, we're gonna be throwing that around. Little mealworms. There we go. On the little ice fishing jig. I just want to know what it feels like to catch a fish on one of these little rods you know dude <laughs> you imagine i hook up with the trout on this rod all right any day now i'm casting this into you know the slower moving pools and uh not really feeling anything hello ah dude i don't know if this is gonna happen at this spot man i just want to like look how much this freaking rod bends like, that'd be so fun to reel in a fish with this i always thought it was interesting how like ice fishermen you know like hold their rods i feel like nobody really talks about like, it i feel like this isn't the comfiest thing in the world i guess i get it it's definitely like usable, but I don't know. All right, so it's been like 25 to 30-ish minutes. We've had these rods in the water. I casted them out a couple times. I was kind of, you know, thinking to myself, like, why do trout like power bait so much? The main reason these fish really, you know, they go for a small little ball like that. In the hatcheries, they were fed, you know, these small balls. By the time they're stocked in the creeks, you know, you can finally fish for them. They're freaking hungry, and this is like, you know, this is what they know to eat. However, these fish, I mean, I want to say they're stocked in October. They'll still go after power bait, like stocked trout that have been in the water for a while. I mean, they do adapt, you know, they start eating natural things, but they'll still go after power bait. It's crazy. I think the main reason for that is because the smell i mean this stuff smells good but i don't think it's the exact smell that you know a trout would want to eat maybe so i kind of thought ahead a little bit here at walmart i picked up some of this garlic salt i don't know if it's just salted garlic i mean i guess that would make sense Woo! That stuff smells strong, dude. Garlic is a scent that a lot of people really believe in, including myself, for trout. I guess not just trout, like other fish as well. I always buy, you know, the garlic scented power bait. It's kind of my secret weapon. I'm gonna dump some of this garlic salt onto this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kind of get this all over there. Then we're gonna toss this out there. Hopefully this scent will attract something. If not, I, I don't know. If there are trout in here, I'm telling you, they're gonna smell that. All right, yeah, we're gonna be making moves. We're gonna be making a business decision. I have a bunch of other spots on this creek that I think would be uh, decent-ish for fishing. So yeah, let's not waste any time here. Let's get a move on. Skip. All right, this is the third spot. The second spot, it wasn't even worth your time. Um... Yeah, let's give it a shot. I'm not playing around with games anymore. I got this rod in here. This one has a play-doh on it. We're putting a power bait on this one. We're gonna go down here. I would hope that there'd be some fish here. This looks like amazing structure. It's really interesting. Oh god, that's so muddy. It's really, really interesting to see how like creeks and uh rivers change shape. Oh my god. All right, like these rocks right here, this is what I used to walk on. Now this whole I don't know, it's it's crazy. Looks like great trout habitat. I got creek spots, man. We got time. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna we're gonna make something happen. At least I mean I hope that would happen. Okay. Alrighty, third spot. Bust. Fourth spot of the day. I think this is the fourth one, right? I don't, I don't even know. I lost track at this point. But I got these two rods behind me. One has the uh, Play-Doh on it. One has, you know, power bait. Hopefully we can get a bite on one of those. But also, man, my other goal here for this video is still got some little waxies on this rod. I'm gonna be casting this thing around. If we get hit, we get hit. I mean, hopefully one of these rods does something. This spot should look familiar to you guys. I fished here a decent amount. I keep hearing some weird like squeaky squeal type thing. I don't know if a tree is about to fall. I don't know if there's like a something looking at me. If y'all are wondering, this is like an ultralight ice fishing rod. So this thing would even feel like, like panfish would feel like a monster on this. Dude, what the heck are these? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It look like- I feel like those are raccoon tracks, but I am not uh, 
raccoon expert. Ooh, this bridge is like a wind tunnel. I just checked my weather app. Apparently my phone says these are 25 mile per hour wind. That plus the weather, it just like makes your fingers feel like they don't exist. So lately I've been thinking, you know, I'm just gonna kind of sit down and talk to you guys for a second. I, as a content creator, wanna know, please like help me down in the comment section below. Do you guys enjoy videos like this? You know, like me kind of showing you the whole adventure, even if, you know, there's not a bunch of fish. The reason I say that is because a lot of the times I go out, including like that last ice fishing session I told you guys about, and you know, if there's not a lot of fish, I'm like, yo, there's no point in filming. People want to see the fish. But I think from that perspective, you know, you miss a whole lot of the actual, you know, parts of fishing. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm not saying I'm going to upload like skunk after skunk after skunk. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We might catch fish today. We might not. I don't know if it's going to be a skunk yet. I feel like that kind of adds the experience. You know, maybe some of you guys can relate to this. I guess I'm saying this because YouTube fishing now, it's kind of normalized to like, you know, have a guide with you, go somewhere crazy, you know, catch a bunch of giant fish. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying YouTube, I feel like it's kind of headed in that direction, like with the fishing Category. All right, so pretty much the question I'm asking, I don't really think I explained it too well here. But would y'all rather see, I mean, videos like this where I go out, I show you guys the adventure, but the amount of fish might not be something, you know, crazy. Or do you guys think, you know, I should post less videos and really upload stuff where there's crazy fish catches or, you know, just really good fishing in general? That's more like what I was trying to get at here. Ah, I mean, needless to say, we're going to have some crazy days coming up this spring, this summer, this fall, man. We're going to be catching some big fish and a lot of fish. We're going to have those days, you know. But some days, man, some fishing sessions, you guys, you guys know, man. Either way, yeah, just let me know in the comments below. I said that a million times. I'm going to try to catch some freaking fish. Whew. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, that is a big skunk -a I'm not gonna lie though. That was still like a lot of fun, except for the end there when, you know, the wind really started getting to me and my hands started to get really chilly. A bad day of fishing is better than, you know, a bad day of not fishing. Obviously things could have gone a lot better in this video. We went on the adventure, man. We went to Walmart. We went to all these different spots in the creek. You guys came along with me. And then, you know, this is what happens. Some days it'd be like this, man. All I gotta say is thank you for coming along the adventure with me. I definitely want to try this in the uh, spring when, you know, all the fish are actually in the water. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out the play doh. Everybody's gonna be like, yo, is this dude all right? I feel like it could actually work, especially with some extra scent. I know, like, if people have said before, like, yo, this works, I mean, even people probably made videos on it, maybe catching fish on it. Who knows if they're actually, you know, catching fish on the play doh? I, I don't know. I want to test it out myself. So, that is definitely gonna be something I do in the future. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Overall, a day on the water, it's not a bad day. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off here. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you guys did enjoy this, please go down there, hit that thumbs up button it really would mean a lot to me also if you guys do like my videos you do enjoy my content there is a subscribe button right down there definitely hit that if you never want to miss a video from me and then right next to that there's a little notification bell after you click it if you hit that notification bell that'll give you a notification it should at least every time i upload a video and yeah if you want to stay up to date with me you never want to miss any kind of upload for sure follow me on instagram i always post stories when i post videos and i'm trying to post more pictures on there I i'm trying man i'm trying my inner artiste photographer is going to be coming out soon so just stay tuned for that i'm gonna be trying to upload some sick pics get my instagram game up thank you for coming on this adventure out there freezing with me dude we're gonna get a man whether it's a spring fall whatever we're gonna get on some freaking big trout we're gonna catch one on some freaking play-doh or at least we're gonna you know we're gonna try it. i also have some other cool ideas for trout fishing as well but that is pretty much gonna be it here for this video today i gotta stop talking man. i've been talking too much this video as always thank you guys so much for all the support from the bottom of my heart it truly does mean the world to me all i got to say man is let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching See you next video.